Hey guys, it's Piper playing as my OC, Share Me Alexi. Uh, it's been a while since I've done this series. I hope no one thought I forgot about it. I've just had a lot of work piling up and then I lost track of where I left off. But I'm not going to forget this channel's roots as a gaming channel. So anyway, I'm saving up all of Share Me's money and when the Egg Festival comes, which is in a couple days, I'm going to blow all of it on strawberry seeds as many as I can afford, and then I'll spend the rest of the season watering strawberries. <laughs> and by the end of it, hopefully Sheremy will be able to afford something, anything. It's hard to make money early game, and uh, while Sheremy would be totally the type to take things slow and enjoy the ride, as I've said earlier, she also likes to be not broke. The Egg Festival is right around the corner. It's on the 13th, so I'm going to do what I can to get as much money as possible now. And I definitely know where I am not planting those strawberries. What the hell was I thinking? Oh look, it's our best friend, Shane! Oh, never. I want that strange bun recipe. And I'm not leaving you alone until I get it. Today is Vincent's birthday. He likes daffodils. Oh yes! Yes, it looks good. I, um, used somebody's husky mod, the template, and made, uh, shit. Don't look at the tail. I made a recolor of it because Jeremy's dog- Oh, man, the animation is awful. Yes, I'll adopt this dog. Well, I tried, but anyway, her husky is half a wolf. And, uh, because it's cool. I mean, it's not a good idea in real life, but in fiction, it's cool to have a hunting dog that's part wolf, okay? X fucking excuse me, amateur. So, why is everyone in this game so fucking rude? I don't mean that rhetorically either. I want to know what made Concerned Ape decide to make half the town hate you until you buy them off with gifts, errands, and daily harassment. Or harassment if you're uh, proper and shit. Yeah, <laughs> I win. Here's your birthday daffodil, you little shit. Some people may think giving Vincent a silver daffodil would be a waste since he's a lame friend, but I beg to differ because there is a secret you can unlock by putting a strange bun in his toy box. Ha, <laughs> like I'm gonna let a dice tell me what to do. Life is a game. You gotta play it to win. Bad odds don't change that. I have never seen a rock in the middle of the- Excuse you? How dare? Remind me to buy a decent sword later, since this is like the only game I've ever played where leveling up doesn't make you stronger. I mean, you get like five more HP, but I'm too damn clumsy for that to make a difference. I'm bad at this. And maybe I should have stayed at home. Shit. Shit. Okay, fine. No. Okay, so don't get me wrong, I like Stardew Valley. It's one of my favorite games, but I can't be the only person who thinks the combat system is repetitive, simplistic, and tedious. I'm better at combat in Breath of the Wild. <laughs> and that is a hard game. Maybe I should just get used to using the slingshot. Then fire explosive ammo all over the place wildly and just leave it all up to chance. Okay, I'm making it worse. Sheremy is in the ranger class in my story and the weapons she uses in the game. <laughs> the game? Excuse me. <laughs> it's not a game. The webcomic are the bow and a knife, so it would make sense for her to get a dagger. But usually fight with the slingshot. But the thing is, I don't like the dagger. Or the slingshot. I, I guess I'll just get over it. My chin was itchy, so I put hydrocortisone on it. Then my cat came and I petted him and he licked my chin and he started freaking out, like, licking the top of his mouth and, and now he's mad at me. I'm a bad friend with a bad tasting chin. It hurts so much watching this animation. It just, it's painful. And we are ready. Where am I going to put this thing? I mean, how often do I check my silo? 
the morning of the egg festival. Ah, uh, nice. Additional funds from Sheremy's dad. Speaking of Sheremy and dad, she has two of them. One is a burly mountaineering kind of guy, but I haven't drawn him yet. No idea. Uh, the other, I've sketched your design for. I kind of like it. He's more fashionable and lacks the chill necessary to put up with Sheremy's irresponsible antics. But other than that, they aren't fully fleshed out characters. I want to avoid making the latter dad to uh, stereotypically sassy fashionista, even though I Actually, I do know a lot of gay people in real life who act like that, but, uh, I don't know. It's just there are so many characters like that already. Why make another? Unless just because it would make an interesting dynamic with Jeremy. Ah, fuck it. We'll see. Oh, I fixed her hair, by the way. Again. I just keep tweaking it, and that's why academic probation will never be done, because I'll keep tweaking the game repeatedly for, like, 200 years. <laughs> and as for the dog, uh, I'll fix that animation eventually, though I doubt any of you think I'm a good animator. I proved that with my, uh, Skillshare intro. I mean, I didn't have enough time, but still. Ah, the Egg Festival. Well, I personally don't care for the Egg Festival. I think it's frustrating and boring, but after that bitter divorce I had with Abigail, you know, I kind of have to fucking crush her. Yeah, uh, that was in another file back on my friend's Switch. I was playing as Prince Robin. I think I've mentioned this before. Damn it, I was hoping for way more seeds than that. I've already failed. Yes, I am ready to beat Abigail's ass off. This is for insisting I not talk to other women anymore. Meanwhile, your hoe ass still goes to the bar to tease Sebastian every Friday. Yes, I'm ready. Let me begin. Yes. Ah, oh, fuck. I have to press buttons. I mean, not that I didn't have to press buttons with the switch. Hey, bitch, get out of my way. I got you. Let's go to the graveyard. There's one there. I never realized there was one there, actually. Okay. Did they change it, or am I just dumb? That looks like one right there. There's one behind the trash can! No! No! Yes! I got it! Share me fucking Alexi, everybody. Share me comes in first and takes the worst festival prize there is. Word on the street. She did it just to spite Abigail, who wishes Share me never moved in because she liked to explore the abandoned ruins of Free Spirit Farm. Fuck you. Well, who knows? Maybe Share me would like a hat. I mean, it would be in character for her to like something that looks good on her, at least. So let's just see here. Yep. Yep, there can be no doubt. This looks terrible. Absolutely terrible. And just looking at it makes my depression stronger. You know what? I like to end on a low note, so let's just close the episode here. So please rate, subscribe, and have a great day. Hey, I know I said I was going to draw Sheremy on the hilltop farm, but after I got sick a while back, I forgot about a lot of the things I was working on, like that facial variation art class I was teaching on Skillshare. <laughs> And never posted or finished and all this other shit I promised. I'll try to take care of those in November, I hope.